A Rainy Day by Robin Nelson. A Rainy Day by Robin Nelson. It is a rainy day. And there are the kids running inside because it's raining. Look, he doesn't have any shoes on. The rain is wet. When it is rainy, the sky is gray. A rainy day is gloomy. This word is gloomy. Look. Poor horsey's out in the rain. You know, I wonder if he likes it or not. When it is rainy, clouds fill the sky. It's a bunch of clouds here. Here's some more clouds. And you can see here some rain. Raindrops fall from the clouds. When it is rainy, Flowers grow. I love these flowers. I have a bunch of these little uh, purple irises. We see a, what do you see in the sky here? A rainbow. When it is rainy, it can flood. Look, all that water. Remember our playground would always flood too much and we couldn't go play out in it? Lightning can strike. There's lightning in the air. Sometimes you get scared by lightning, but I think you get scared more by the sound, the thunder. When it is rainy, rabbits hide. Rabbit. Ducks swim in the rain. So rabbits don't like the rain. Do ducks like the rain? I think they do. When it is rainy, we put on a raincoat. Raise your hand if you have a raincoat. Raise your hand if you have an umbrella. Do you have an umbrella? We can open an umbrella. When it is rainy, we can splash. Oh, he's going to make a big splash in the puddle. Raise your hand if you have rain boots like this. A rainy day is fun. It looks like they're having a lot of fun. This is the water cycle, and we've talked about it before. The sun warms the water in the oceans. Heat changes the water from a liquid into a gas called water vapor. Water vapor rises into the sky. As the water vapor rises, it cools and forms tiny droplets. These droplets form a cloud. Inside a cloud, the water droplets combine. When the droplets combine, they get heavier and fall to the earth as rain. Rain one runs into the rivers, lakes, and oceans. Then the water cycle starts all over again. That is the water cycle. So today, I would like for you to draw in your journals the water cycle. So you're going to show a river or lake or an ocean, a big body of water, an arrow up to the clouds, an arrow to a gray cloud, rain coming out of the cloud, and an arrow back down to the lake ocean or ocean that you drew. Do you think you can do that? I think you can draw the water cycle. Have fun, children. Oh, let's see. Um, I'm sorry. Not yet. We're not finished. Here's some more words. Rainy day facts. One of the wettest places on earth is Mount Waiali Ali in Hawaii. About an average of 460 inches of rain fall there each year. Louisiana is the wettest state in the United States. It gets about 56 inches of rain a year. Hollyanna is from Louisiana. Freezing rain is rain that freezes when it hits the ground. Sleet is frozen ice petals. The heaviest raindrops fall as fast as 18 miles an hour. Do you think rain can hurt you? 
If it falls at 18 miles an hour, you say, ouch, when it hits you, it hits pretty hard. Pine cones close up when it's going to rain. Lightning makes the air so hot that it explodes. The sound it makes is called thunder. Count the seconds between a flash of lightning and the sound of thunder. If there is a lot of time between the lightning and thunder, the storm is far away. If the lightning and thunder happen almost at the same time, the storm is very close. Here's your glossary of words. This is what the words mean. Clouds are masses of water droplets floating in the air. A flood to overflow with water where it is usually dry. So if we get a lot of water around here in Lubbock, it will flood. Gloomy means dull and dark. Lightning is a flash of electricity in the sky. A rainbow is an arc of colors that appear in the sky. So that is the end of your story. And what grows when it rains? Right, flowers and plants. And you know, sometimes we say, April showers bring May flowers. So we think all the rain that comes in April and then in May, we'll see all of the flowers.